I'm Tony Scott from BNET TV. I'm coming to you live from the Las Vegas Convention Center, the Consumer Electronics Show. I am here with Leon Vandenpass from Navingo. How are you? Farewell. Thank you. Excellent. So, great show. Very big. You're in the right pavilion, the right place at the right time. We were just uh, off camera. We were doing a little bit of a demo, which we're going to get to in a moment. But mm -hmm. why don't you tell us a little bit about Navingo? Okay, Navingo is now coming to the U.S. market after two years of successful introductions in U.S. Uh, sorry, in Europe and in Asia. Uh, we're launching here with HP as our prime partner on the U.S. market for 3D navigation software, which you can see here on the back while we are filming. Well, there's no question that uh, we sell a lot of GPS technologies, <laughs> and 3D is the way it's going. Exactly. Absolutely. You. And um, you know what? Tell me a little bit about why Navingo is special. Why Navingo? Is that Navingo is in fact a fusion of two companies. There was a mapping company and a mobile gaming company. And the mobile gaming company had the expertise for 3D. So we combined these two companies and that became Navingo. And we were able to launch very quickly the 3D software in the market. Yeah. Okay. And so far, there's no company who's offering two 3D, like you see here with landmarks, elevations, and uh, real buildings. Processor intensive, the, the, the unit? No, itself? that's the good news, is that you can see it even on the standard devices for 300 megahertz. You don't need the hardware accelerator. So it runs, for instance, on the, the, the Mio, which is a normal device. And of course, it runs on the PSP with hardware acceleration. Of course, this one is what I really like. When you showed me the PSP, I thought that that was a phenomenal idea. I haven't seen anybody in this entire show yet that's done what you've done. Yes, the PSP is a special case because Sony has their own operating system. It's a proprietary solution. So we had to start from scratch again to develop a navigation solution. And Sony selected us because of the 3D technology, of course, because it had to be yeah, game-like technology. So with the, with the gaming in mind, that obviously brings a whole new set of clientele because now you're offering something that not everybody else is doing. It's not just strictly straightforward GPS, plug it in, away you go. You've got some ease of use, excellent user interface. Exactly. So besides the ease of use navigation solution, we're now launching, besides navigation, games, digital TV, satellite radio on the same device. So if you have your kids in the, in the back of the car fighting with each other, they can watch a movie, they can uh, listen to the music uh, on the same device. Why don't you tell us, let's divert a little bit, why don't you tell us a little bit about your ecosystem? How, how did Navigon come to exist beyond what it is today and where is it going to go? In 2006, when the company launched the, the first software solution, we took the market for two ways. First, we are the only one who could uh, customize the software very quickly. So if you see LG or you see Sony PSP or you see HP, it is a completely different product in, in the market. The other way where we were very good at is compression of map data. We can put the complete Europe on a simple SD card or the complete US uh, database. And that was not, uh, nobody was able to do that in 2006. Then when we were launching the first uh, navigation software, then people ask, okay, if you can do navigation, why can't you do an MP3 player, an MP4 player, digital TV? And that's what we did in the course of 2007. For instance, on the, on the HP, we just launched the uh, Travel Companion. The whole software, so including MP3, MP4, is our development. If you look, look ahead, in 2008, in 2008, we're going to one step further in providing content uh, services and community services, because there are a lot of hardware vendors who don't have any content offering today, and they want to offer their uh, uh, customers like uh, point of interests, like travel guides, like games, etc., all kind of downloadable content. And that's what we're going to launch in the course of 2008. Well, it seems like you've got some, uh, a lot of products on the horizon. You've got some great products today, and it sounds like uh, in the United States, I know that I can't wait to start to use your product, and um, I hope that the show goes really well for you. I appreciate you taking the time to speak with us today. Okay. Thank you for dropping by. I'm Tony Scott from BNED TV here at Navingo.